hey guys mr solution here i'm doing this video to guide you on how to use the buy stop and sell stop features on ftss exchange currently i'm logged into the app and this is actually one of my sub accounts this is a tutorial account this is a tutorial account and um, currently this i'm on futures market look at it eh? this is the futures market we have the sports we have the stocks we have, and then it goes on and on so i'm currently on the futures market so Assuming that let's say we want to trade, we want to trade LTC perpetuals, LTC perp, the, which is this one here. You want to trade this, then we'll go right ahead and click on it. And let's say the current price is $81. We are just hypothetically saying, even though it's above $81 here. Okay, let's say, yeah, the current price is $81, and we believe that it is going to go up. But then we want to be very, very sure that it is going to go or um, so that we can minimize our risk. So to do that, go right ahead and let's say we believe that if it gets to 81.30, that it would touch 82. OK, that's what we believe. But current price is 81. OK, but we believe that if it touches 81.30, that it will get to 82 or above, then we'll be using We'll be using the buy stop and we will be using buy stop features okay we'll be using the buy stop feature so that we can minimize our risk and all that okay so to do that you can see at this point we have the limit or this place that shows the limit order you tap on it then what comes up we have limit order market order stop market stop limit trailing stop take profit take profit limit okay so but then we'll be using the limit order okay we'll be using the stop limits okay be choosing the stop limit they go right ahead and click on stop limit okay now the stop limits proper props up we pops up we will see trigger price we see limit price we see amount and all that okay so remember remember that we said the price is at 81 but we believe that it's going to get to 80 81.30 that if it eventually gets to 81.30 that it is going to increase so we'll be using a limit order so at, at at this a stop limit order please so at this trigger price we could just go right ahead and put our 81.30 okay and then our limit price will still be the same 81.30 alternatively you could make it 81.29 or maybe 81.28 okay but let's just make both of them the same thing it's 1.30 okay so what it means is that if the price eventually gets to this 81.30 our our price will be triggered okay our our buy will be triggered okay so you go right ahead and drag this and depending on your risk management and all that do you plan using all your money or you're using a fraction of it i wouldn't know okay so let's say i want to use 100 percent or maybe 75 or 50 okay let's just say i'm using the 50 go right ahead and click put put your 50 percent okay and then click on the buy Okay, click on the buy then what happens is that it's if, if it eventually gets to these very prices it is to this 81.30 it will automatically buy for us okay that's for the buy then in a situation whereby you want to short you want to sell the you want to sell the same thing instead of being on buy here yeah? instead of being on buy we just wish to sell okay so to do that let's say the price is falling the price is at 81.21 currently and then we believe that it is going to get to um let's say we believe that it's going to get to 80 okay but then to be very very sure it's going to get to 80 we want to limit our risk we want to minimize our risk so we want to put ourselves first at 80.50 because we believe it's going to get to 80 but we want to be very very sure so that if eventually it gets to that 80 you'll be very very sure that it is definitely gonna touch the 80 which is our target then go right ahead and click on sell okay we've already we've already chosen the stop limit which is this okay still so choose the stop limit then so we our entry will be what our entry will be 80.50 80.50 and then our limit would be the same thing 80.50 alternatively you could make this 80.49 okay 80.49 so what it means is that if once price gets to 80.50 your trigger price will be 80.49 it will it will automatically be triggered okay then depending on your on your risk averse and your risk management and all that you could use 50 to 7500 or 25 as the case may be okay then go right ahead and click on sell 
okay and then that will be that if you get to that very place it will sell for you then the other the flip side of this thing is that most times when people do this they forget that they will have to come back to close that very trade okay if eventually you sold you know for you to close the trade you need to go right ahead and buy back okay so to buy back once the order has been executed it will be showing around here you see your position your profits and all that and all your pnl and all that okay so once you the price has entered like once the price the the order has been executed the best thing for you the next thing for you is to come back again to close the market so to do that assuming you if you assuming you sold for you to close it we need to buy back okay so go right ahead and instead of using stop limit would be using what limit order okay so you sold at 80.50 you believe that price is gonna touch 50 so you want to buy back at 50 so choose 50 then drag this to the S stream okay make sure you are selling everything then make sure then come down again click on this reduce only order make sure you click on it check on it just tap on it tap on the reduce only okay so what reduce only does is that if price get to this view this is your point this is your 80 it will automatically take you out of the market it won't keep you in the market it will take you out but in a situation whereby you maybe put your price at 50 and then you didn't check this reduce only order if it gets to this very point it will open another position for you so some persons make that mistake so that's why i'm taking the pains of doing this so that i don't go right ahead to make the mistake always check the reduce only order anytime you are closing your trade make sure you choose the reduce only order the only time you you will not need this is maybe when you are using the advanced order the advanced order features is this place that looks like a calculator go right ahead and tap on it okay then assuming that the price is 81 and then we want okay you believe that price is going to get to 82 and then um you 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 are giving a stop loss and all that your stop loss is 79.50 your entry is 81 you, you want to take profit at 82 so go right ahead and put your entry price at your entry price price is what 81 your take profit is what 82 then your stop loss is 79.50 hypothetically this is just for explanation explanatory purposes all right okay so once you do that drag all this maybe depending on the amount of money you want to use maybe 100 percent go right ahead and choose your 100 percent or 25 percent or 50 as the case may be then when you do that go ahead and place your orders okay so what what happens is that once you if you're using these advanced features you don't need to come back to close the trade once market gets to 81 it will buy for you if it gets to 82 it will sell and, sell and close the trade for you then if it gets to 79.50 before getting to 82 it will take you out of the market so you're minimizing your loss okay the same thing also applies to the sale so whenever you're giving a signal especially those in my channel group man signal group this is how to go about it depending on if you are told to use either a buy stop a sell stop or maybe you are giving just the normal entry and all that so this is how to do that okay i hope this video has been insightful enough thank you so much